Hi there! Welcome to another Friday Findings video. Today I thought I would introduce to you a concept that I've found really helpful as I work with jewelry and design it. And that is this box right here. And let me show you the label on the end. It is my Jewelry to Repair or Redo box. And you can see it's full of bits and pieces of jewelry. Some were things that I discovered later had some design flaws, like although I like this bracelet, the wire was too fine and it broke. Um, I'll probably just take that apart and recover the beads. Some, although I like this bracelet and you've seen it in a previous video, perhaps I think it's kind of boring for me, so I may add some charms to it. I've got all kinds of things that I decided, you know, this just needs to be finished into something. But I've decided for one reason or another they need to be either repaired or redone. And I thought I would show you a little bit more about that today. So for instance, these earrings actually featured in a video some time ago. These little leaves actually were purchased for me on my honeymoon by my husband. And so they're very special and I think they're kind of pretty, these little enameled leaves. However, they were on, and you'll see it in the video uh, right here, they were on these very inexpensive, cheap, plain-looking ear wires, which did nothing for them, and I never wore them. And so in the video, you'll see the only changes I made was I added a nicer pair of ear wires, and I added a single bead dangle with just a bicone bead and a seed bead on each end, and that's it. And now I love these earrings and I wear them all the time. Another pair of earrings you might remember from a video are these Swarovski heart crystals. I believe this is called the Cosmic Heart, and I love these crystals with their flashes of pink. And I finished these for the video for you, but then every time I went to wear them, I said, nah and put them back. And so that's the first key to deciding, you know, if something needs to go in your repair or redo box. It, is it something that you think you ought to like? I mean, uh, these ear wires came out so nice and I love the wire wraps on the hearts and I love these crystals, um, but I would never wear them. So the key is to stop and think about what is it that you're not happy about? Like I said, I liked so many things about these, but what I realized was that every time I put them on, I said to myself, they're, they're just too short. They're not dangly enough. I like dangly. Now maybe you might have the opposite problem, and you might want to remove something from a pair of earrings that's too dangly and just keep the parts you like. But what I ended up doing was I just used the same wire that I used in these earrings, and then made these little components right here. And voila! Now there's a pair of earrings that I wear all the time. I love them. So sometimes it's just a simple thing, but the most important thing is identifying what it is you like or dislike about it. This bracelet that I'm wearing you may recognize mostly from a recent video using Blue Sky Jasper Beads. And although I really liked that bracelet and I liked the big bold copper beads that I used in it, I decided that as I was wearing it that the blue needed to come out more. And so I actually restrung the whole thing using these Swarovski crystal bicones that I think really brings out the blue color. This necklace is one, every time I look at it, I like it. I like the beads. I like the uh, the design that's like slightly braided with monofilament thread. However, every time I went to put it on, I took it off and chose something else. And the first thing is because it was just always an awkward length. And I never cared for this this clasp much either. So I think the, only, the best thing to do is fix the length, since that's the problem. So I'll probably take a jump ring and gather all of those little loop ends in it and then cut off the clasp, add a bit of chain around the back, add a nicer clasp, and then I'll have a necklace that I'll wear. And sometimes things just get broken. This is another necklace that you may recognize from a video. I believe it was called Spring Flowers. 
and the chain broke. Now when you have a broken chain, you have a few options. The first thing you have to look at, does it have a split in it like a jump ring? If it does, then you can just open and close it like a jump ring. If it doesn't have a split in it, then the next thing you can do is actually use a pair of wire cutters and make a split. That will only work if your links are a strong enough gauge that they could take that. So you could try it, make a split right at the soldered joint with a pair of flush cutters. And, and then open it and close it like a jump ring and attach it and then give it a tug to test. And if it doesn't work out for you, then you may have to replace a section of the chain or even the whole chain. So the next time you come across a piece of jewelry that you think you ought to like, but you put it back on the, on the shelf and don't wear it, ask yourself why. And maybe there's a couple of quick fixes that will make it something you can wear and love again. Happy recreating! Thanks for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. If you like this video, please be sure to click subscribe so you see more like it. And also click the like button. And check out my blog, KeepsakeCrafts.net, where I have lots more creative ideas and inspiration. Have a good one. Bye-bye.